Um, did you used to go to the beach often when you were younger? Yes, as often as we could because a lot of the time we couldn't go because of the wall. I don't know how whether it was blocked off completely, but I just remember the barbed wire and we couldn't. Mm. It, it wasn't so long before the war started. I mean, I was nine years old when the war started. Mm. Um, after that, we couldn't get onto the beach. Mm. We weren't allowed to go. We could go onto the links, but that was no fun. I, I read a lot of science mm. started to go. We thought, what, what's happened here? Something serious must be happening now. Because there was a threat of war at the time. And of course, as soon as I got back home, my mother, mother told me, we've been, we're involved with the war now. The war's been declared by the Prime Minister. And of course, I think I was on the verge of tears at the time. Mm. I was so upset. With big, huge, concrete blocks, barbed wire, miles and miles of barbed wire. And of course, nobody was allowed to go on the beach at all. So it was a very sad and sorry looking place for mm -hmm. the whole time. And the only traffic you ever saw really was army vehicles and things like that, and soldiers, and of course, and big guns. And they're still there now. But uh, ten years ago, we used to take tea in a teapot, and you put tea in the teapot, and then take it to a hut where they filled it up with hot water, boiling water was for about. There was little hut places mm -hmm. on the beach, spaced out on the beach. So all we had to do was take the teapot, give the teapot, and go down to one of these places of selling, and they would give you hot water, mm. and it was right. just a cup, as you'd see. So we just have to take yeah, a good standing queue for hot water and wear the tea bags, you know, tea, loose tea, sorry, mm -hmm. in your mother's day. And my mother used to, used to go, you could buy a jug of hot water. You know, you could take your jug and get it filled with hot yeah. water. On the sands there was a place for threepence. And I used to be carrying this jug of, and weaving my way because the, you could hardly move on the beach for people. And I'm sure by the time I got there it must have gone cold. <laughs> oh yes, always a picnic, yeah. People didn't eat out then the way they do now, because mm -hmm. people didn't have a lot of money. So it was always a picnic. Right. Generally egg sandwiches, egg and tomato. Sometimes cress if you are very lucky, but mainly just egg and tomato with a little bit of salad cream and lots of sand mixed in. <laughs> I can remember my father was a merchant seaman. When he came home, he brought us this swimsuit. <gasps> I thought that was Dorothy Lamore. You know, it was gorgeous. Yeah. It was all sea greens and blues. But you know, I don't know if you can remember the sheer and elastic used to take yeah, it was like that and I thought it was fabulous. You go down in a swimsuit. Oh yes, oh yes, I've been down in a swimsuit before. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, I remember having a knitted one. Well, when it oh, was yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Right <laughs> the, the weight of the water would drag it down. <laughs> Imagine. Yes. Yes, yes, they have donkeys. They had donkeys. Yes, yes. Did you go on them? No. Couldn't afford them. Couldn't afford them. <laughs> Which was unusual. That was a few bombs. Um, but go on the shuggies. You know what a shuggie is? Yes. Yeah. If you went to Wicked Bay, there was um, what we call shuggy boats. Ah, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I had them on those shoes at the time of as well. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have to pull the strings mm -hmm. to make it go backwards and forwards <laughs> while you're sitting in the room. <laughs> you, you, you know, say nine, ten, it always seemed to be sunny. And it was, it was wonderful. It was, it was lovely. Because the weather was so nice. Oh, oh, it was like the Riviera. 
it really was. I mean, I think it's probably hard for people to believe that now, but the weather was always lovely. And then you dashed away with your bucket and spade. The way you usually went to the rock pools for thick winters, crabs, anything at all, we just splashed around. And one thing we had, we all had, was a jam jar with a string on for putting my things in the rock pools. You know, crabs and crabs, things yeah. in. That's what one had. We all had a two pound jam jar that you could get them. I wonder whether I'd save it a bit the more. <laughs> So sometimes you'd be swimming in the sea, particularly after it been a, a rainstorm, when I think the sewers overflowed in the sea, and you'd see all sorts of unpleasant things floating around. <laughs> you'd try to keep your mouth shut when you're swimming, of course. Uh, that doesn't happen nowadays. Well, not in the good it was way. rather odd that people, uh, if you went with your dad, you had your, you had a suit and a tie on. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yeah. and you'd pull yeah. his shoes. <laughs> Which was a bit funny when you think about it. Yeah. The man would be the same, all dressed up. Yes, everybody was dressed up. Our family had uh, playboats on Tynemouth Beach. Mm -hmm. and they've been there for you know, 100 years basically and passed down to the generations. Quite a large, uh, well, quite a large extended family because my father had uh, seven sisters and uh, while it was my father's business uh, their sons and daughters uh, all helped with it and uh, my cousins were quite a lot older than myself and my brother and they were big huge men and they used to haul the boats up from the, from the sea uh, they had about uh, 10 or 12 rowing boats, you know, quite big ones, bigger than the ones you usually get in, in the lake and parks. Uh, there was three or four ice cream stalls on the beach, which are uh, basically huts, uh, and the kiddies used to go along clutching their sixpences or their threepences in their hands to buy an ice cream, and they'd have to reach up quite high to pay the man, and quite often <laughs> when you would slip up their grasp in the sand. I don't know if you've ever dropped money on the sand before, but it disappears. You can't find it. It was just a riddle, which is like a, a round thing with a mesh at the bottom. Mm. Uh, and you basically, you go to the ice cream stall and you shovel the sand into there, give it a shake, and there's all these six minutes and pennies, mm. <laughs> which helped our pocket money no end. Mm. There were so many people that came to the beach in the summer that uh, children could quite easily get separated from their parents and they'd wander around. So uh, they had tannoys, loudspeakers up on, on poles, and occasionally hear announcements saying, We've got a little boy with red hair, uh, five years old, he's lost his mummy, can you come and collect him? And this one, this is quite a frequent occurrence, of course. Well, you never see the people on the beach that we used to see. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. no crowds on the beach now. Yeah, as, as you've seen the pictures of the, the number of people that came on the beach, particularly on August bank holidays, it's absolutely phenomenal. You just have to, pick your way amongst the people lying on the beach. The bus arrives, we all get on. We're going to the seaside. My heart leaps. I have only heard people talk about it, but never seen it. The bus is going too slowly. I want to get there. Mum has made piles of sandwiches. I saw her put the teapot in a basket. We're here, somebody else. Come on, dear, here's the seaside. Why is Mum stuffing my dress down my knickers? Can I say it, the sea? On my bare feet the sand feels warm. The sea is blue with big white waves. This is real, I have only seen it in pictures. When I look back, I know that was my very first ever golden day. Oh, the joy of it all. <laughs> and <Amazing>. good. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, that was the first time I saw the stage. I thought it was wonderful.